Good morning. It is Saturday, January 26, 2024. It is sort of foggy out and still overcast. Rumor has it we may see sun tomorrow. I hope that's certainly true because I think we're all ready for some sunshine. Just a reminder of worship tomorrow, 8.30 at St. Paul's, 10.30 at First. Both services are, of course, live streamed. And First has its annual meeting following worship tomorrow. So do pay attention to that. Those are the announcements I'm going to touch on for this morning. Just a quick visit with you today. I'm heading out to an all-day wrestling tournament down at um, Makokota Valley. My grandson, Gabriel Kummer, is wrestling for Starmont. And Gabe's had a pretty good year. Um, won as many as he's lost, which is a way big improvement over last year. And I'm going to cheer him on. I enjoy watching Gabe wrestle. I never wrestled myself, but I enjoy watching him do the work, and, and he does a decent job. And of course, that's got me thinking about sports. Gabe also plays football. He plays football for Starmont, and Gabe is a lineman. Uh, I was a lineman in high school, and I think linemen are often unsung heroes of the football team. In fact, I got Gabe a t-shirt for his birthday that says linemen, because quarterbacks need heroes too. And I believe that. The football game wouldn't be much if you didn't have a good line. Those usually unknown and unnamed people do the hard work of making sure that the backs are able to run and to score touchdowns. Without the linemen, not much would happen. And that's the case for the vast majority of Christians as well. Most of us will never achieve any kind of acknowledgement or fame. Today is the feast day of St. Lydia, St. Dorcas, and St. Phoebe. And I've just exhausted my knowledge of who those people are. I'm sure with a little bit of research I can come up with some information about them. But for the vast majority of us who have served Christ over the years, even those who have been called saints, we remain anonymous. And that's perfectly fine. We serve Jesus not because we want notoriety or glory. We serve Jesus because he has loved us and redeemed us. We serve Jesus because of that love. We want to love him in return and demonstrate that love for the world around us. And so a vast majority of us do the simple background work of supporting the ministry and the mission of the church. It may be something as simple as teaching Sunday school or being the sexton at your local congregation. You might be a person who prays for the sick and the hospitalized. You might be that person who visits the neighbors who have lost a spouse or a child or a friend. It might be any number of things that you do that are hidden and unseen and yet are done for the love of Jesus. That's what the church is really all about because everything we do as Christians for the glory of Christ and serving our neighbor, whether it's seen by the world or is never noticed by anyone save the Lord himself, is done to his glory and for the ministry of the church. And so if you ever feel a little discouraged by all that you've done that may have not been noticed by the world around you, do remember that the Lord has seen, and he has noticed, and he rejoices and is glad that you have done what you could do, and that one day you will hear from him, well done, good and faithful servant. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for all of those who have worked in your kingdom throughout the ages, who have been faithful in all that they have been called to do, proclaiming the good news, living it out in their day-to-day -day lives, who have labored like Phoebe and Dorcas and Lydia in relative anonymity, but still supported and undergirded the mission of the whole church. We give thanks for all your saints, those of great repute and those who have labored anonymously. We pray that you give us the rest of the day. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, tomorrow being Sunday, I will not put out a video on Sundays. I've got other things to do, but I'll be back on Monday, and I look forward to seeing you all then. Until then, goodbye now.